art is partly a source of sanity for me. It helps me make sense of, um, of life. I totally lose myself when I do it. So I think it's a sort of way of looking at the world. If I was young, I'd flee this town. I buried my dreams. The good thing about art was that's the one thing I could do better than anyone else. It became a, a, an identity from very early on. I feel in a way like I'm a, I've never had to get out of the sandpit. I'm like a kid who's never had to get out of the sandpit. Because I always wanted to work, work as an artist, not be an artist who works in a garret. And I just got more and more into the carving. And I realised that people love wood in a way that they don't love any other material. And at this stage, I suddenly realised that maybe you could carve ugly things and make them beautiful. You could uh, carve repulsive things and make them sort of, and change the way you look at things. I think what you end up is a paradox. You get a pull and a push. You get something that pulls you in because it's wood and it's, and it's a beautiful, difficult of wood. Uh, but then you get repelled by the subject matter. So it creates a sort of an energy. I, I do think people should look more at the craft in art. I think we get far too involved with uh, ideas, and I think ideas are incredibly important. But I think there was a stage where people thought of the craft in art as, as like the C word, because they thought it, it devalued you having a craft, but I think we should look back at the skill. If the craft's are there, it doesn't mean the art's not there as well. You can't get anything harder than carving wood because you need to, just sharpening the tools is a whole skill in its own right. When you carve something and you sculpt it, the potential's gone, it, it's done. And by the time you finish something, quite often, you know of many ways you could have improved it because of the journey you've been on. If you'd started it again, you could have made it better. So often you, might, you think, what the hell am I doing? Yeah. And you'll look at a bit of wood and think, Who's, who's, why do people want this? And things always end up better than even you think, because you sort of take things on a journey. You know, I've spent five months on this thing and, and there it is. Um, and you get that, there's always that fear whether it's, you know, because at the end of the day, I give it to a client um, and whether they'll like it. I mean, that's why I still do it, because I enjoy just that whole process. I think the satisfaction of the power of big sculptures, I really like. I definitely find my scale is better big. Smaller work sculptures, I find, are a harder scale. Scales are one of the most important things in art. You, you can make a sculpture work or not, depending on getting the scale right. I just keep on going. I think the one thing I've learned is you can never predict anything. And if you think your life's going in a certain direction, it goes in the opposite direction. So the one thing I can keep hold of is if I can keep on carving and sculpting and creating things, then that's it, wherever it takes me. As long as, as, long as you can keep on doing what you want to do and, 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 and people are interested in, in, in buying it and things like that, then I don't think there's a problem. I think with all arts, that there's, there's good stuff happening everywhere just happens maybe things haven't been discovered because every carving has many different battles and many different sort of uh, things to solve and each of those is a try when you triumph and you work out how to do it is exciting um, I think that's one thing that's missing from people who want to be in the arts today is everything has to be far too fast they have to know far too much I would also really like to, I had this idea of looking at veterans coming back from uh, uh, Afghanistan and, so, and, and when they, some of the injured veterans and things like that. Um, I think we're all used to seeing busts of uh, Roman emperors and things like that, looking amazing and heroic. And I'd like to do the same treatment of, of some veterans who have come back and, and, and maybe wounded and, and it, even with disfigurement, make them beautiful and heroic. I'll never retire. That's the thing is, I think if I did stop carving, I think that would be probably the end of my life. So as long as I haven't got rheumatism in my hands, I will, I will, I will all have, always have ideas and carve new stuff, definitely.
die, we drink tonight. Oh.